<laughs> on the Tempe, <laughs> right, Chris. Okay. You decide. Yeah, any side you like. And on the other, right, uh, any number you like. Let me get you to draw a picture on the 2P two, two as well. Uh, draw, draw one of your designs. <laughs> Try and recreate it. <laughs> uh, well, it'd be worth more than 10 for 2P. I'm on the spot now. That's, that's fine. That's great. Okay, so we've got 172 and... Uh, well, it's clearly supposed to be a volume. Oh, Hold your hand there. <laughs> Put the coins in your hand. Put your hand over the top. That's good. Stay just there. Right, choose one. Do you want the two or the ten? The ten. Okay, stay just there. It's going to feel a little bit strange, but don't worry. Now, you don't have to lie to make me look good, just be honest. You can actually feel like a column of warmer air between my hands. If I take my hands away, you'll see it goes colder. But just the energy, just from the warm air, you can feel that. Which coin did you say? 10p. 10p. Stay just there. Ten p. So on the ten p, you put your name and the number one seven two. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Did I go in there at all? No, 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 no. Look at the tempe. Ooh. Look at it. Ooh. Check it out. Just lift up your hand. Look at the tempe. Check it out, look. It's bent. <laughs> <laughs> David just gave me um, a ten pence. Um, I put my initials on that, and then he gave me a two pence, and I drew a picture on that, which was really bad. Um, and then he put both of them in my hand. He put my other hand on top, so it's completely sealed in. And then he did all these magical moves. I could really feel the, 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 the heat coming on. And then he asked me to choose. I wanted the one with my signature or the one with the picture, so I chose the one with the signature. And out of the two coins, the one with my signature, when I opened my hand, it was bent. It's melted. It's unbelievable. Well, I was actually in more than saw. I actually took part in uh, and witnessed first hand, so to speak. Yeah. I had two coins in my hand, which I'd uh, written on. So. They were the same yeah, coins. You them with the pen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wrote my name and a number, and then they, it was my handwriting when it went in, and her handwriting when it came, and I released my hand. And what happened? He asked me which coin I wanted to choose, the 2p or the 10p, out of the two I had in my hands together. Right. I said the 10p. And I could have said the 2p. Of course. If something happened to the 10p. The 10p bent, yeah, yeah. When I open my hand, the 10p is con convex or concave, depending on which side you look at. And was it bent when it went into your hand? No, no. it wasn't, because I wrote on it. I'd have seen if it was... That's what I thought. Now, maybe he, you know, he, so, he'd influenced me not to even look at it before and just consider it as a normal 10p when it was yeah. already bent. But I would have seen... I, I would have written on a curved surface. I'd have known. Quite extraordinary, isn't it? I'd have known, yeah. And he didn't touch me. He didn't touch. He didn't take it out of my hand. And if he had, how could he have written on it anyway? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, that was the same coin. Here's the uh, two coins I had in my hand. I, yeah. wrote, I drew this picture. I wrote my name and the number. That's great. Thanks very much, Chris. And the yeah. magician put his energy between. And bent them. Above and below my hand. Incredible.